What's up guys? So for the last couple days, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys were like, why has Strain Central not posted anything on his main channel? Several different reasons for that. So I am actually currently in a tolerance break, which means I'm taking a couple days off from like smoking because I hadn't done it in like six months time. So I kind of felt like it was something that was necessary. So as kind of like a, a de-stress break to kind of just relax, kick my feet up and uh, like make my tolerance a little bit lower, I'm taking a couple days off uh, from the channel and mostly just gonna be like vlogging and stuff. So you will be seeing uh, like sober vlogs. I haven't smoked in like almost two days now, so I'm entirely sober. Hi, I am Sober Josh, nice to meet you. Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna be like vlogging the fact that I'm probably just watching way too many YouTube videos and uh, kicking the feet up and relaxing around the house. So if we do do anything exciting, I'll make sure to actually record it. I think later today I'm gonna go to the dispensary and get some like CBD because even during tolerance breaks, I do take CBD just to kind of relax, calm my muscles and stuff, but THC tolerance breaks are entirely necessary for me occasionally, so that is exactly what we are actually a part of right now. <laughs> Fape Nation! <laughs> so, uh, one of the first things I always will kind of suggest to people actually going through tea breaks is exercise! Find ways to make yourself uh, just kind of take your brain off of exactly what you're going through. Exercise is not only helpful for your body, you're obviously gonna want to be like overall burning uh, as much fat as possible. So it's also gonna be helpful for like weight loss and fat burning, which means you'll be getting higher when you do actually consume. So exercise, it's important every day, as much as you possibly can, do not slack. Howdy, so one of the weirdest things that I thought I would like go ahead and bring up and kind of explain as to how I'm feeling is the fact that Whenever I take breaks from YouTube, for some weird reason, I experience what I think most people do experience as anxiety. I'm not an anxious person, and that's never really something that has ever been something I've struggled with, but for some weird reason, when I take time away from work, when I take time away from YouTube, I get this just like weird feeling inside that's like a burning passion to continue to create, I guess is like one of the best ways to describe it. And at the same time, I think that one of my best like mental reliefs, one of my best like mental de-stressors is talking to a camera. So I think when I'm not actually able to do so, I kind of just like drive myself slightly insane, kind of paired with the fact that I don't like letting you guys down. I feel like daily content is something that I started a long time ago and you guys kind of expect that now. So when I can't meet and fulfill those standards, I unfortunately just kind of feel like I'm letting people down. So, I struggle through these breaks quite a lot, not even on like the cannabis side of things, on the creator side of things, because I go fucking crazy when I'm not actually doing something I'm passionate about. So, that's basically why I decided I would do this little vlog series, not only because there's a lot coming up at the end of the month, but also because this is kind of gonna help me like stay sane uh, in my time of non-creating. <laughs> So we literally just got done uh, like picking up a bunch of like random viewer mail from the UPS store and they, I don't think they hate me there, but to say they enjoy me would definitely not be a true statement because my like 2x2 two two mailbox probably fills up in one day's time and it usually takes me a week to get stuff from there. So yet again, another just like ridiculously awesome little trip full of all kinds of viewer goodies. So thank you guys for sending stuff. That'll be hopefully unboxed soon. So I picked up like a handful of different little CBD tinctures and like capsules and thing from the dispensary just to kind of kind of supplement along with this uh, like THC break. So I think some of these unfortunately do have some form of THC in them, which means I more than likely will not actually be able to consume those ones, but I'll probably take those when I get onto the airplane this Friday. So usually I have to at least be some kind of straight fucking zonked for airplanes because that's another time where I experience anxiety. So I'm just not a very good flyer, which means CBD is my best friend. So this is called Ethos Innovates uh, CBD Relief. And then this is actually super weird. So you guys have heard me rant a million times about like CBG and how it's what actually helps my personal symptoms the best. I have never seen a CBG extract or a CBG tincture. And I I've even like seen stuff like this in the medical market. Like, I was searching for specific cannabinoid tinctures for the last two years' time. So the fact that I just found a specifically CBG tincture in a recreational store is genuinely mind-boggling to me. But uh, this is like, I think, 100 milligrams THC, 5 milligrams CBD. So it's very, very, very low in, like, overall CBG. 
and I think it was like $75, but if it actually does have any kind of medical uh, help or an effect on me, that would be awesome. Uh, I think I did also grab some like random little CBD caps. These are like 10 milligram, 100 milligram CBD pills. And then I think these are 10 to 1 uh, CBD pills as well. So it's like 150 milligrams of CBD and like 20 milli- even that. No, sorry, 15 milligrams of THC, obviously, 10 to 1. I can math. Well, it, it says that it's 15 milligrams THC and 150 milligrams CBD. But the real question is, is that between all 10 pills or is that one pill in itself? I'm assuming that's more than likely between all 10 of the different ones because most ones are like this. They're 10 milligrams CBD. So if these are actually 150 milligrams CBD in one pill, that's very impressive. And I actually might have found something that's like my new best friend. I also did grab a little teeny uh, gram jar of the Refined Seattle uh, Arm Farms White Fire Wax. So this stuff's actually loud resin, which means it's gonna go off the shelf way too quickly. Like there's legitimately been days where I'll see someone post something about this on Instagram or Twitter or something, and then I'll show up that afternoon, everything will be sold out by that point. So I saw they had this on shelf, which basically means I had to snag it and it'll be going right into the head stash, but I also grabbed some of this uh, White Fire because you guys know that's been one of my favorite strains lately with that big old dose of CBG in it. I don't know if you guys can exactly read what this says, but there's little instructions for your, oh goodness, that's, that's a beard. Your first ride, or like your first time actually consuming these, so if they're even helping out the newbies that are new to like THC, new to CBD. That's kind of a weird way to start though. I feel like most beginners are probably starting with like a brownie, or like some kind of basic like weed edible. Actually, we had this weird conversation in, I think, a Twitch stream the other night. Not very many people start out with edibles. Like, that's that's mostly only something in legal states. Like, yes, if you're in a legal state, there's a good chance you started out with, like, a 10 milligram edible because you can kind of control your dosing a little bit easier with that. But if you're, like, in some random illegal state, you've more than likely never, like, you probably started with a joint. You probably started with a bowl, and there's a good chance that you've never even actually had, like, a true edible. So... I, I think it's weird to see how different states, especially like legal states, have different forms of consumption and I think mostly adults have tried some form of edible if you are living in Washington. That just seems like something that's borderline normalcy at this point. <laughs> I just turned the camera on and realized that my hair looks like Jimmy fucking Neutron or something. <laughs> But uh, I literally just got back from the gym and I'm honestly feeling really, really, really good. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna make myself something for dinner. I'm thinking I'll probably make like uh, some salmon, something from like Blue Apron. So this is not sponsored like every other YouTuber on this website. I simply actually just got myself like a Blue Apron sponsorship because, well, every other YouTuber was pushing it. But uh, I've actually really genuinely enjoyed it so far. So like I have a lot of experience in food service because that's what I did before YouTube. So I've been a cook before and honestly I hated cooking because it felt like work to me. But like now that I can kind of do it in my free time and do it to like eat, like actually physically continue to live, I actually really enjoy doing it because taking a couple out of your day that 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 taking a couple hours out of your day to actually make yourself some like relevant and somewhat healthy food and to continue to fuel your body to continue to live is something you should probably occasionally do. <laughs>
Whew, the kitchen's getting hot, so I'm like slightly sweaty here, but literally just got done making uh, some mashed potatoes along with some seared salmon. Uh, this is just like cherry tomatoes and then a garbage sauce. So that's all it really took to make like a healthy, good dinner. It didn't take me any longer than like a half hour's time. Once you kind of get like the prep done and figure out how to cut stuff, it's pretty easy. A lot of recipes are just following like guidelines. So I'm gonna go eat that because I'm legitimately starving. So I will be right back. The end. Thank you.